Hello everybody and welcome back to the Galactic Armory. My name is Aaron and today I'm going to be showing you guys how we made these medieval Captain Rex hatchets. As you can see we've made a lot of progress on the armor as well as far as painting goes but I'm going to be saving all that for another video. Today I'm going to be focusing on those wooden axes. The project has come a long way and we're still doing a lot of really cool stuff with it so I'm excited to show you guys more updates in the future but let's get right into the tutorial of these axes. So first I'm going to talk about the axe heads a little bit. Originally I painted them a metallic aluminum as the base coat and Jamie here brought up some references of some medieval hatchets or some medieval axes and he's going to be taping off the edge of the axe head to make sure that stays metallic silver and then he's going to paint the rest with a forged hammered spray paint to hopefully get a good texture out of it. Once that's all painted he's going to be using some rub and buff to touch up around some of the corners give it a little bit of weathering and I just love the color difference of the edge. I think it makes the ax look a lot sharper and just more realistic in general. So with the ax heads all painted and ready to go, let's work on the handles. So for the handles, I'm actually just gonna be using some scrap two by four wood that I have laying around. It's pine, so it's not the best wood you could use for ax handles, but I figured this isn't gonna be an actual ax. I'm not going to be using it to chop down literal trees. Usually you would want like an ash or a mahogany, but this is like two dollars of two by four wood, so I'm going to use that. Here I am tracing out an outline of the ax handle. I just did some research online as to what kind of general shape they were and kind of took some creative liberties. I wanted one with a good bend in it, so I traced it out on paper, cut that out, and now I'm tracing it onto the 2x4, making sure to avoid any knots in the wood. Once that's done, we're going to take the 2x4 over to the miter saw, cut it down to length, and then use the bandsaw, which I got to use for the first time, to trace out the rough shape. So once I've cut out that shape in the 2x4, I'm then going to use the bandsaw to kind of take down some of the edges just a little bit. It's less that I'll have to sand away in the next step. Just be sure and not go too far. I'm just kind of dulling the corners a bit. But once that's ready, it's time to do a little bit of sanding. So now that we've got the rough shape trimmed out, I'm gonna put the handle into the vise, and I'm gonna be using my detail sander to sand down the edges and make the whole thing smooth. I know this probably isn't the right tool for the job, but it's the only tool I've got that will really work. On there, I've got an 80 grit strap of sandpaper, so very rough. It should do a great job at taking down these corners. And I've got the shop vac hooked up to it to hopefully suck away a lot of that sawdust. This is kind of just an eyeballing game. Obviously you want to be careful not to take away too much to where there's like a weak spot in the handle, but otherwise I was just playing it by eye, sanding it down until it felt really good to hold in my hand. I'm then going to rotate it around and work on the part that actually connects with the ax head. That I had to trim down quite a bit, and I brought over one of the ax heads just to keep testing the fit and just keep refining it until finally the ax head fit over. Now since I was using the 80 grit strap on the detail sander, the wood is very rough so I'm going to be doing a little bit of hand sanding with a 120 grit and then up to a 220 grit sandpaper before we move on to staining. I went with kind of a darker stain because I wanted it to accent against the ax heads. So I'm going to wipe it on with a cloth, let it soak into the wood for a few minutes before wiping it back off and letting the stain dry. Once that stain is dried, I'm going to be applying a polyurethane to seal everything in. Now this stuff I just brush on with a chip brush. I'm going to let it harden for an hour or two, then I'm going to lightly sand it and apply a second coat. The sanding in between the first two coats really makes a difference. After the first coat, when you brush it on, it's still really uh, coarse to the touch. And after you sand it all, it kind of dulls the shine a bit. But once you apply that second coat and let that dry for 24 hours, you've got yourself a beautiful axe handle that is also well protected. So there you go guys, that is how we made the medieval Captain Rex axes. Here is what the original handle is going to be like, pretty much just a straight line. I'm very glad that I decided to make the handles wooden. It was a really fun process, it makes me want to do a lot more wooden handles like maybe the God of War Leviathan axe, but I don't know. That's a dream project really. But it's a really fun project and I feel like it adds a lot to the costume. So it's not just all 3D printed or metal parts. I love mixing in other mediums with 3D prints. And I think you guys should try it as well. With all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. I hope you learned something. I hope that you're feeling confident enough to take on a project like this yourself. Because it is just so rewarding to make something from the ground up and then get to wear it. But nevertheless, thank you all again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.